international bears welcome to a special podcast global den diaries your friendly guide to navigating live at missouri state university today i have an important guest with me hi i'm patrick martinez pass i'm a graduate student and i work at the international services office and my name is Christabel Calanti. I'm also a graduate assistant at International Programs. And today we will be talking about another important topic, and that is campus resources. Yes. Uh, well, how about we start with my favorite campus resource, which oh. is the library for the sure. The library. <laughs> yes, I love the library. Uh, mm -hmm. I think the library is so cool because, for example, well, we're in the library right now in a recording studio because you can do that at the library here mm -hmm. at Missouri State. You can do all sorts of audiovisual stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you can rent out equipment, you can have a recording studio here, you yep. can take equipment out, whatever you need using your backpack. These microphones were rented yes. here at the library. <laughs> <laughs> you know, alongside with all the books that you can find, mm -hmm. there's also a big selection of DVDs downstairs that you can what? check out. Yeah, if you want to watch a movie with your friends or something. That is interesting. I didn't mm -hmm. know about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, you know, recording booths if you're a singer and you mm -hmm. need to do something like that. Yeah. yeah. And I think that you could also rent out um, you know laptops uh, chargers um, there is also a study space for like you know for personal use or like for groups of people as well so you should check that out that's true yeah the library also has a writing center and the bear claw which bear are um, mm -hmm. assistance uh, assistance places for students that they can go to if they mm -hmm. can help with their classes or if they yep. work with the writing or mm -hmm. anything great resources yeah. yeah and the um, library also has the disability resource center um, available for uh, students with disability yeah yeah for sure mm -hmm. uh, moving on well we have the rec center the yeah. recreational center which is really cool that is my favorite place on campus did you know that that one was a uh, initiative from students to Ooh. create it and they raised the money and like made it yeah wow that's yeah. interesting mm -hmm. it's awesome uh, and it's a fully working and equipped gym mm -hmm. it's pretty awesome it has a very big pool that I know you know about. It's really I cool. know. <laughs> it is so huge. It has like, I think, mm -hmm. not that I'm exaggerating, but the pool is one of the biggest pools we have in Springfield. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And uh, you, there's also rock climbing in there. There's mm -hmm. ping pong tables. Just anything you can think of for mm -hmm. uh, aerobic activity, mm -hmm. dancing rooms, basketball courts, mm -hmm. volleyball courts, all sorts. All sorts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think all you need to ask as the facility is your bear pass ID. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Um, we also have the bear pantry. The bear pantry mm -hmm. that is available mm -hmm. to students facing <laughs> food um, insecurity. insecurity. Yeah. Um, please, if you're not facing food insecurity, please do not go there. It's only available <laughs> to students facing food insecurities. We just don't have food. We have like book supplies and toiletries and all of the other stuff so it's, yeah, it's great, also located at the PSU. it's a great resource as a uh, resource available for all students who are facing mm -hmm. hardship it's it's really great to have yeah it. true um, mm -hmm. the second um the next one is the i succeed center um located in the jim d morris center mm -hmm. um that is also available to international students who need um, help with anything academic um we have like a very amazing staff there to assist you with anything that you might need they are on the third floor of the Jim D. Morris Center. Yeah, and it's very personable uh, and uh, resources that's available for international, international students only, students. so it's very great. Uh, yeah, very good to consider uh, taking a visit to mm -hmm. the Succeed Center. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the next one? Next one, well, it's the heart of campus. The, the PSU. The Plaster, Plaster Student, student Union. Union. Yeah, yeah, that is kind of a big conglomerate of different things mm -hmm. uh, for student activities and for student relations. We do have a food court. Yeah, so that is my second place, favorite place on campus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're ever late for class and you have mm -hmm. to grab something quick on the go, just pick up a chicken sandwich, pick up some Chinese food. Yeah, you know, they also food. have like bare necessities. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, if you just want a soda or a bag of chips and cookies, or, like something quickly, like a convenience. Mm -hmm. uh, there's printing services, mm -hmm. there's printing just services. Yep. chill areas, mm -hmm. you know, a microwave if you want a microwave. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the the multicultural Culture center, center. Yep. yes, which is a new place that they open for minorities to mm -hmm. be able to find community uh, yep. and to engage with each other. It's a pretty great place. Yeah. And they do have the Bear Pass office also um, at the PSU. So if you come in um, as a newly admitted international student, that is where you would get your 
MSU card or MSU ID. Yeah. Oh, and Starbucks, obviously. How can I forget? And Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next would be the bookstore. Yeah. So, aside oh. the obvious, where you could get your books, they get all books, uh, you could also get all MSU supplies like the hat, the t-shirts. All of the Missouri State Missouri apparel State you apparels. want. Missouri State apparels, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, you'll find t-shirts, pants, hoodies, mm -hmm. jackets, socks, oh. shoes, underwear, I'm not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all sorts of things you can yeah. find at the bookstore, it's MSU mm -hmm. themed. Uh, yeah, uh, and then they do have devices as well. Um, mm -hmm, correct. From Apple, pro like Apple products, MacBooks, iPads, yeah, and phones, other non -Apple, other non -Apple, non Apple products, products as well. As well. If, yeah. if you ever need to buy something quickly, or if you need a flash drive, mm -hmm. a mouse, mm -hmm. uh, keyboard, something yeah. like that. Yeah, and all these um, things available at the bookstore can be charged to your MSU account, so you do not need to pay upfront. Yeah, if you're worried about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we also have majors, the major major the health, health center. center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where you're gonna go if you ever have any uh, health needs. needs. And like vaccine, if you want to take a vaccine shot, um, they are available to yeah. help you as well. Um, There's a pharmacy in the, the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have prescriptions that you just need to have refilled every now and then, you can yeah. just send your prescription there and pick it up. It's yeah. right behind the bookstore. Very right behind location. the bookstore. Yep. Yeah. So uh, you don't need to go outside of campus to have all these um, services. They do also have the counseling center, yeah, which, which I have used a couple of times. Mm -hmm. um, they do provide eight free sessions, which is very good. And I think they have like one of the most amazing staff on campus. Yeah. Um, very discreet. Um, they are they're professionals there to um, help you with anything that you might need. Any counseling. Any counseling. Help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and also the women's center is also um, true. available at the majors health center so mm -hmm. anything women you know what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> <laughs> they are there to help with your needs yeah um then we have the career center mm -hmm. which is somewhere you definitely want to check out if you're nearing the end of your career or if oh, you maybe want to an do internship? Oh, you want to do an internship go mm -hmm. away for a little bit mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah uh, the career center is great because there you're going to be provided with resources regarding interview prep uh, how to build a resume and how to touch it up uh, it's very great they, they have a lot of uh, post-graduation uh, resources yep if you need help with um, reviewing your um um, CV, um, they are always also available to help you. You need like press, workshop, um, career affairs. They do host a lot of career affairs. So if you want to secure a job or an internship, you could also um, look at that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, well, then we have my favorite building in the whole my university. My favorite building as well. This is number Perfect. one. I mean, yeah. forget everything I said at the <laughs> This is my favorite, favorite building. <laughs> uh, it's the Jim D. Jim D. Jim the Jim, Jim D. D. Morris, Morris Center. Center. Yes, the Jim Morris Center. Uh, it is the hub for international students, students to go meet up. Uh, that is where you're going to find the International Services Office, where I work. International Programs Office, mm -hmm. uh, um, International Payroll. Correct. Uh, the Succeed Center, Center is there as well. Yes. Uh, so anything international, you're going to find that International Services Office mm -hmm. and the Jim Dean Morris Center. Uh, I mean, I think we host also like all the international events at the Jim Dean Morris Center. That's true. So you will be coming the so much trust me I'm <laughs> it's a great place to meet <laughs> it people. is a great place to meet people if you need any help with your i20 international services is always there the travel signature mm -hmm. um the international services office is also available um to assist we are located at, in downtown no. springfield mm -hmm. um not too far from campus and yeah yeah um Moving on, we also have financial aid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Financial aid, um, if you have any scholarships or you're looking forward to securing any kind of loan, they will be the best people to speak to. Mm -hmm. Also, we do have the accounts receivable office. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions concerning your billing statements or payment plans, they are always also there to assist you. They can answer your questions. I used to visit that office a lot when I got to MSU. Because I mean, I was like, oh, what is this charge on my account? <laughs> yeah, so. Um, uh, they're nice and approachable. Very yeah. nice and approachable. They will take your time to explain all of them charges on your account to you so you have a better understanding of how much you'll be paying throughout the semester yeah. and before we forget the last one should be the shuttle oh yes the shuttle yes honestly i do not have a car <laughs> <laughs> that has been my lifesaver since i got to msu it takes you around campus um but it stops at some specific um, places 
So, goes around campus, I think, from morning yes. till evening, so you do not have to worry about, you know, That's true. all the other and stuff. You do not have to not have a car to use it. I have a car and I still use it because it's very convenient. Exactly. Yeah. It's incredibly convenient. Mm -hmm. It goes around campus, it takes you to downtown to the Jim D. Morris Center if you mm -hmm. want to go all the way over there. Mm -hmm. um, and it also takes you to the park of the city park. It's so like, glasses, it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to pay for it. Just your bear pass. Yeah, just your bear pass. I mean, you don't need to show it. Just hop on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who would not want to be in MSU? We have all these like amazing resources available to you once you arrive. We really hope that you get to use them and that you check them out because they're here for you. Yeah. Uh, they're available to you. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right. So that would be the end of our video today. Um, we do hope that you found this video very, you know, helpful. helpful. And please feel free to reach out to us um, at, if you have any questions, at international services at missourystate.edu. And please don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Global. <laughs> Until next time, bye. bye.